with uh, CLAT, doing stuff with CLAT. Uh, it is December 22nd, and I'm out uh, trying to catch some coyotes and coons. So I'm going to be loading up my equipment here and uh, see what I can do. So I'm going to be using my DP here and what I've constructed here is uh, my anchor cable and I did this just for uh, these DPs. A lot of times when you're out here in the snow, this ground is so hard, you don't want to pound it in the ground, uh, your, your anchor stakes and you know sometimes the ground is just so hard, it's like concrete. So what I did is uh, I got some 1 8 cable and uh, I got some ferrules and I crimped them on here and I made one side big enough to, for my DP to pass through and the other side I'm gonna clamp to uh, my, my trap here with a with a quick release ring so I'm gonna go ahead and um, put this around the tree that's what you're gonna be doing anchoring it around some type of tree or something and not putting it in the ground so put it around put the little end through the big end and there you go, you got it. It's secure and it ain't going nowhere. And the other side, you're just gonna go ahead and uh, put it here to the trap. So there you go, all secured to the tree. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set my trap. And then uh, put it in the ground. nice and hard here. All I need to do is get it to stand up though. Then I got some old corn left over from deer season. Doesn't matter if any falls off on the side. I usually put peanut butter or something in there but today I've got uh, salmon fish oil so I'm gonna just spray that on or dribble some of that on it a little bit on the outside around the trap some even on the tree here and that does it for this uh, particular trap so <coughs> likewise with my foothold traps I've made a longer cable and it's uh, the same concept, you know, I'm going to put it around the tree, have a bigger spot here so I could actually pass my trap to, but I don't really need to, so it's connected. And then uh, I just attach my quick release right here, and then the other side will go to my foothold. So we'll go ahead and get that in. Alright, so now you have a, there's nothing getting out of that, so I'm going to go ahead and set my trap. And there you have it, completely set, go ahead and uh, night latch it night latch it there we are
there we are. So I'm gonna go ahead and bed this. That's okay, it. so since it's December 22nd, the ground's pretty hard, pretty frozen. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I got Minnesota brand here uh, for my uh, for my antifreeze here. So I'm using peat moss, but I want to go ahead and uh, just make sure my trap doesn't freeze up. So I've got a little spot here, all picked out here. And I'm gonna go ahead and bed my trap here. Ensuring that uh, it's pretty solid down there. Peat moth doesn't pack as well as this dirt and it's all frozen. I guess I could use uh, wax dirt, but really don't have time to make it. So peat malt it is, and I'll press it down as much as I can and uh, seat the trap the best I can. Hopefully the dog isn't spooked too much if it moves just a little bit. I don't think it's gonna matter much the ground is pretty hard and by the time he steps on this trap it won't make a difference anyway. So I'm going to go with that. Let's get my pan cover here. pan cover and then I'll cover the rest of it with peat moss and the tree here is gonna kind of serve as my backing anyway here so Moisturize this with sin away a little bit. Take some natural ground cover here. And so that the ground doesn't freeze. Before I completely cover it here, some more of my antifreeze. Okay, cover that antifreeze up. Some natural cover. Blend it as much as I can. 